Hey guys, Bobby Rio here with Rob Judge, and we got a we wanted to talk about something because Rob and I were out at uh, dinner last night with some mutual friends, and one of our buddies was talking about how he started dating some girl. He really he's really into her, but he's kind of like he, he goes that he's got that like sinking feeling that he doesn't have any of the control. Like she's the one leading every everything is on her terms. She's got all the power, and he was going, you know, what can I do to get it back? And you know, Rob and I gave him three tips and we wanted to share those tips with you. Yeah, I mean, this is such a common situation so many guys find themselves in where things start off okay, you never put your finger on it, but like this guy, you end up like, you start realizing, oh man, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting the short end of the stick here. And, you know, one of the first things that you can do and what we told, you know, we told our mutual friend to do is, very simple, but ask her to do you a favor. Yeah, it's counterintuitive, but it is. You know, the psychology behind it. Explain. <laughs> Absolutely, because um, the idea behind it, it's kind of funny. We talk a lot about telling guys to avoid nice guy behavior, and specifically, you know, if you're trying too much to do a girl a favor, be you know this you know white knight and, and that kind of thing. Any guy who's tried that obviously knows that that sort of behavior. Almost like always that, yeah. backfires. It almost always, you know, goes the other way, and it, yeah. it repels women. And but they don't think of the the inverse of that, which is asking her to do you a favor. And the psychology of this goes back to um, something you said. It was, I didn't realize it, but it was and in, for justification, and it's in uh, influence. It's in influence, and it's 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 a pretty well known fact that the more effort you put into something you wind up being more invested in it. And it's a lot of the reason why, you know, we always talk about guys who, even though they, they realize with a woman that it's not going where they want it to go, they put so much effort in that they've convinced themselves they like her. And you're kind of doing it reverse when you're asking her to do you a favor. Because normally it's the opposite, right? Normally you're driving her to the airport, you're like moving furniture, you're buying. But when you go and say to her, even something as simple as, hey, can you, can you give me a ride somewhere? Or, or hey, Kate, can you, can you uh, walk my dog when I'm at work? Like anything that you have her do, it's, it's counterintuitive because you think that it would like be like a burden on her, but when she's doing it, it's actually going to make her more invested in you. Exactly. It's like, it's like you feel good when, when you help someone out and you do something, you, you know, I think that's a big reason why a lot of guys do nice guy behaviors because they feel good about themselves that, you know, and you want to give her the opportunity to be to be your white knight, you know, and, and it's just something a lot of guys just don't think about. I mean, I know I just, even on my own girlfriend, um, I've had her translate things for me, you know, I don't speak Spanish and she, she's Mexican. So I'll have her, I'll ask her to translate something for me. And it, it's, the important thing is you don't have to ask her some big favor or ask her to do some monumental thing, but, but it should be something that requires her to take some time out of her day that requires some investment out of her. Yeah. One last thing on it. I think there's a part of it that makes it effective is that it's there's something in your brain when you're doing something you have to you have to you have to like kind of realize why you're doing it and in her mind there's something telling her well if i'm doing this it must be because i like this guy or else i wouldn't be doing it um you even ben franklin uh, there's a story about how he had this big feud with the guy and ben franklin was in the wrong and in order to like end the feud ben franklin actually asked him hey can i borrow this book from you the guy lent him the book and then he wound up forgiving Ben Franklin where you would think it would be the opposite, but, but that's how it, it works. So that, that's number one is get her to do some sort of favor for you. It, it's subtle, but it, it, it starts establishing a little bit more of your power. Now, number two, you want to talk about number two that we, we talked about last night? Sure. So number two is you really want to avoid any sort of justification, any kind of explaining yourself. And I know that sounds somewhat obvious, especially the guys who are familiar with dating advice, but where we see this comes in, because we were looking over this guy's texts, and we're seeing, you know, she was subtly maybe asking him to, you know, almost kind of a, a, an accusatory tone. She was saying stuff like, you know, why did you give me this advice? This was wrong, blah, blah. And he immediately, you know, when we read his text, was saying stuff like, well, I did it because, you know, uh, you know I, have a de- I have a degree in this, and I'm an expert, and, you know, I know what I'm talking about. But, and, and, and he thinks that, I, you know, that he's simply defending himself or showing her why she's wrong. But at the end of the day, what he's actually doing is he's just revealing his hand that he has the lower status position in this relationship dynamic. Yeah, it's kind of like this. Like if Rob or I were working with a client um, and we gave him a piece of advice and then he's like, well, why did you give me that advice? 
like, and we start going, well, you know, it normally works and it should have worked and it would lower like our authority in that thing. And in the other hand, if we go, listen, that's what works, you know, like you don't have to do it, but that's what works. Automatically, you get that status back because you have that certainty, like, listen, like you're not defending yourself. You're not explaining, well, it normally, like, it's like, no, it, that's what works. You don't have to do it, but that's what works, right? And it's all about that authority, whether it's with a girl, whether it's like in a situation where, you know, if you're anything, you always want to be in the authority. You don't want to give it away by, so I was telling Rob earlier, you know, I'm having my pool done and I had a couple estimates and I go to the guy doing my pool. The other guy was cheaper and my pool guy goes, well, then go with him. You know, he didn't say, well, I, I do more work. He said, well, go with him. And I didn't go with him. I went with the guy who was more expensive because he was so confident. So all right, go with him. You know, he didn't explain himself. So. Exactly. And just on a really extreme example, you know, we kind of turned around this before. Like if you saw Michael Jordan on the street and you went to Michael Jordan, you were like, you suck at basketball. Michael Jordan wouldn't sit there and be like, well, I won always have made championships and I was the MVP and I did all this stuff. He would just be like, yeah, okay, pal, like, like latest, you know, like, like, yeah. okay, you know, and that's really how you have to look at this, that if you want to take that power back and you want to get on even footing with a woman who, you know, you feel that, that you're losing power with her, you have to be very, very careful never to just, you know, give any kind of, you know, rationalizations or be really logical, give justifications for anything that she throws out there. Yep. And now the third thing that we noticed when we were kind of talking to our, our friend and he is telling us, like, he's like, well, you know, I just feel like it's always like, I, you know, cause he's like, cause he, he has a, a more flexible schedule than she does. And he's always like, it's always like her dictating when we hang out. It's like, it's always like, I'm always like wondering if it's like Tuesday night's not good, third, you know, and we realized that she had all of the time power, right? And you kind of explained it, so I'll let you kind of take over of, of, of getting that time power back. Sure, yeah, and exactly, and, and that's a big thing is that when someone has a lower status position in, in, a, in a relationship, the person who has a higher status position sees that person with the lower status as their time is not being as valuable because their, their time seems like it's, it's very abundant. And just like anything in life, the more abundant something is, the less value it has. Um, so you really need to apply some scarcity to your time. Um, one very easy way to do this is to give a time constraint. Anytime you meet up or you get on the phone or you do anything with this woman, you should be like, oh, you know, we, we can grab coffee, but I got to be out by, you know, I can only stay for an hour. Or if you get on a call with her, be like, hey, I, I, I thought I'd call you quick because, uh, you know, I have a quick 10 minutes, but uh, I got to be up the phone at, you know, noon because, I, you know, and, you know, and ideally you do, you have stuff in your life that, makes this plausible, but even if you don't, you still should do this. You still should figure out ways where you can Im impose these time constraints because of the fact that that will make her start to see your time as having value again. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a subtle thing. And it, it's something that in like sales, salesmen do it all the time. When they're trying to sell you something, they know that say, Hey, I got, I got, I got another call. They're like positioning themselves as being important. Right. And a lot of times guys, like we're so afraid that especially when, when she does have that time power of like she's kind of controlling everything we we see her time as being more valuable because we're like well if i if i can't hang out tonight i might not get to see her till next week and that's such a scary thought when you're really into a girl um and she begins to realize that even if it's on a on a, on a, a subtle level she kind of knows like okay like he's going to be flexible so i don't have to and you've got to be you've, you've got to be you know cognizant to not let that happen because then eventually it's like anything that is too abundant, it becomes a commodity and it becomes less valuable. Yeah, absolutely. So, and, and just really quick also too, that, that applies not even just with meeting up, but also with calling a girl back, responding to her text. You know, I mean, a lot of guys know maybe, you know, to wait a little bit longer, that kind of thing. But even a lot of times if a girl calls you, right, guys get really excited, they want to pick up right away. And I'm not saying you can't pick up the phone or, or you can't talk to her, but even if you have to like not take her call and call her back, two minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes later, just so the sub communication is that, you know, you're on my time that like that, that you know, that because a, a, yeah. Yeah, a, a great move with that, uh, this is, thank you for this one, right? Is if she texts you, right? Most guys will be like, well, I'm not going to text her back till tomorrow. Or if, or if you see, she calls you, right? Maybe she calls you, you're like, well, I'm not going to call her back till tomorrow. A better move is to control the timing is like you wait, like till like, maybe like whatever, before you go to bed or something, like, Hey, saw you called. I'll hit you up tomorrow. And then it's like, you're dictating, like it's going to happen tomorrow. Like, and then she's like, well, if he had the time to text me that, why didn't he just call me? It's even more powerful than just not calling until tomorrow. Yeah. Like, tell her, Hey, I saw you called. I'll call you tomorrow. And then she's like, why couldn't he call me tonight? You know? All right. So to quickly review, 
uh, to get the power back or at least maintain some equal power in a relationship. Number one is you want to get her putting in some more effort. And you can do that by asking her to do you a favor. It doesn't have to be a big favor, right? It could be, hey, can I borrow that book of yours? Hey, uh, you were telling me about this. Can you can you send me something, a little bit more information on it? You know, hey, can you drive me somewhere? Hey, like anything, it could be small, but get in the habit of making her do you favors. Because chances are you're volunteering to do her favors or she's asking for things occasionally. So at least make it equal. Number two, was that you want to not explain yourself. You don't want to justify yourself. Um, and it's very tempting when she says something and you want to explain yourself to, to jump into that, but you want to just avoid and be like, All right, yeah. like just kind of let it roll off. You don't feel the need. Like he said, if you were to go up to Michael Jordan and be like, Le- LeBron James is better than you. Like Michael Jordan is not going to go, I won more championships. No. Yeah. He's just going to, oh, that's cool. Like he's, yeah. like, he's yeah. not going to, he's not going to like justify himself. Right. And number three, Take the time control, right? Don't don't let her have all the time power. Make yourself less available. Um, put a limit on something. Whether if you're if you're saying, hey, do you want to meet up today? Be like, hey, do you want to meet up today? I've got uh, you know, I got someone to meet at nine, but between seven, you know, I have a couple hours before then. Uh, if you want to meet up, or if it's the phone call, like I said, don't always call right back, or even send the text and say, hey, just saw you call, but I'll call you back tomorrow, so that you own a little bit of that time control. So. Um, Put those to use. Let us know what you think. Um, Subscribe to the video. And if you haven't already watched the Scrambler video, um, it goes a little bit more in depth of other sort of, uh, you know, ways to to take a little bit more control, right? To stop giving your power away and take a little bit of the back. Exactly. Yeah. Because I mean, so much of this, you know, kind of a note to end on is so much of this is subtle. Like our friend probably could not put his finger on, oh, you know, she started having more power at this, you know, on this date or at this moment or like 10.36 p.m. Yeah. on, you know, December 15th. You know, it, 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 a lot of the time it, it's, it's a accumulation of a lot of different things, a lot of different factors um, that are very abstract. People don't really realize they're happening until all of a sudden you realize like, oh shit, like I'm in, uh, you know, oh man, yeah. like she's in a higher power position here and, and she's losing attraction because of it. And it, so to get that power back, it, it, there's never any just one single grand gesture move that you can do that can suddenly uh, restore that power dynamic. Instead, what works is by these subtle little things that you start applying this, you start making her see your time as being more valuable. Even, yeah, just to jump in, um, you even, even if you're starting to see a new girl, like you're like, well, I've already blown it with this one or I'm, I don't, when you get into a relationship or you start dating anybody new, make a conscious effort to, to start thinking like this. Okay, it doesn't have to be trying to get the power back later. It has to be co- conscious even early on in a relationship. Like, let me ask her to do a favor. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. Like the first date, if she tells you something, say, hey, send, send, send me that link, right? If she's talking about something, send, send, she, just, she tells you that she really likes this movie. Uh, send me a link to that movie so that when she goes home, she's got to do something for you. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, pre- be, having you be preemptive, that, yeah, that's, that's exactly. a great point. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Leave us a comment below and let us know what you want to cover in the next video.